Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. My name is Chisenga. Uh, we are going to look at the electoral system under civic education, grade 11. Okay. Uh, the electoral system in Zambia, this electoral system that you are looking at is based purely Zambian. Okay. So under that, we will look at the types of uh, elections that are held in Zambia. Now, in Zambia, we have uh, three types of elections that are held in Zambia. The first one is known as the primary elections, okay? These ones. These primary elections are held within a political party. These are held within a political party in order for them to choose one, the presidential candidate, the member of parliament, and the local government uh, candidate. So these primary elections are purely held within the political parties okay if you uh, if you've heard of uh, the presidential convention that is one of uh, an example of uh, the primary elections then we have what is known as the general or tripartite elections general or tripartite elections are held every after five years in zambia okay we refer to them as general because they are held in three groups which is uh, the presidential, the parliamentary, and the local government. Mm -hmm. Hence the word tripartite. Tripartite taken from the word three. So these are held every after five years, within the, uh, every after five years to elect who? Okay? These are held to elect the president, the member of parliament, the councillors, as stipulated or as stated in the Zambian constitution. We come to the third one, the by-elections. These by-elections, they don't have a specific time frame like the general elections. So these by-elections are held when a councillor, a member of parliament dies, okay? When a member of parliament dies, automatically that constituents or that, uh, that constituents where the member of parliament was representing who need another representative so in order for us to fill in that gap of vacants we need to host what is known as the, the by-election elections for that particular constituents then we have when the member of parliament resigns if this member of parliament resigns from the political party decides to join another political party uh, we will run what is known as the, the, the by-elections or is expelled from the, uh, the political party. If a member of, uh, of parliament or a council has been expelled from, this polit from a, a named political party, definitely the political party or the whole, if the member of parliament has been expelled, the councillor, there is need of uh, hosting the by-elections. Okay, to fill up that gap that has been created. Why can't we have by-elections for the president in Zambia? You recall that the 2016 uh, constitutional amendment abolished this rule of having the presidential by-elections and uh, introduced what is known as the single member majority. Okay, so this is where we have a president and the running mate. Okay. Suppose the president dies in the office, we are not going to host the by-elections. Instead, the vice president will automatically become the president of uh, the country to fill up that gap of the presidential. So, in Zambia, we are saying by-elections are, are only held when the councillor, member of parliament, okay, when either of these dies, resigns, or is expelled from the party or has been sentenced to prison for more than six months that's when we can host the by-elections but like i've emphasized we cannot host the presidential by-elections based on the 2016 constitutional amendment thank you very much for paying attention we'll see you next time when we continue with uh, the topic the electoral system in zambia thank you so much and we'll look forward to your questions. Thank you.